Andy Katz here for NCAA Digital and March Madness Men's Basketball with a reaction to USC and UCLA going to the Big Ten for the 2024-25 season. This is a tremendous move for USC and UCLA and the Big Ten. It makes it stronger. As for men's basketball, these two teams have been perennial NCAA tournament teams, or at least over the last nine NCAA tournaments, either both or one of them have been in it all but one time. Mick Cronin at UCLA, long-term deal. Andy Enfield at USC, long-term deal. You're going to have good games within the Big Ten almost every night. You're going to have more teams or a higher percentage with a 500 or better record deeper into the league, maybe eighth or ninth place. Strength of schedule will improve. A higher percentage of of at-large bids are going to ultimately come from three leagues. When we get to 25-26 and there are 16 in the Big Ten, 16 in the SEC, and 15 in the ACC, at least for now, that's 47 teams in three leagues. Now, there are 36 at-large, so a high percentage are going to come from that 47. You're going to see more teams from the same league play early in the NCAA tournament, because they may have only played one time during the regular season. But keep this in mind. To get in the NCAA tournament, each team is judged on its own merit, by its own schedule. Conference affiliation is not on that resume. But who you play is. And adding USC and UCLA to Big Ten will allow each one of those other Big Ten schools to play two more, maybe four more quality games, and ultimately, that will help those teams get into the NCAA tournament. This is a win-win for USC, UCLA, and all the rest of the Big Ten.